Aurora HDR offers some advanced tools that you can use to further enhance the image. These really deal with fixing things like lens issues, perspective issues, or taking advantage of advanced blending. Now, I've got a series of images here from an interior photo shoot, but let's go ahead and open this up, and I've already done a basic merge. The image looks pretty good, and I'm just gonna choose our Aurora looks and access these looks here from Randy Van Doinen. Randy's an architecture photographer. And let's take a look here at some of these choices. And they do a nice job. And I can pull in the lighting. Or I can also access the architecture presets here and try something like balanced interior. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to come up to HDR Basic and bring down the smart tone and the overall exposure slightly. Now this is very subjective, but what I want to focus on here is not so much the color and the contrast, but some of the issues that we can fix. To start, I'm going to click on the lens button here, and this lets me see what's happening with the photo. In this case, I have lens correction to deal with the wide angle lens. A slight adjustment here removes the fisheye effect. That looks good. I also can take a look at some of the high contrast areas to make sure that there's no fringing. You see here the defringe command can help remove any chromatic aberration or color fringe and will remove CA as well. Additionally, yep, at a negative value there, you can really see that along the edges of the trees outside. So that's helped clean up some of that high contrast area. Let's zoom out. D-vignette is useful if you're getting an unwanted vignette at the edges, and this allows you to brighten those up, but in this case, I don't think we need any. So a slight change, and I can go ahead and close that, but it's definitely helping. That removal of the fisheye effect really did a nice job there, and these feel so much straighter. I really like that the shutters aren't bulging anymore. 